Hi, this is Emmer Kevin Hamero. We are to find the inverse Laplace of y of s, which is equal to e to the negative 3s over s times 7s plus 1. And we are to determine when t is equal to 5. So before we are going to answer this, we, we have to have a background about the translation of transformation, which we can find um, in chapter 3, appendix 3, page 52 of our textbook, Process Systems Analysis and Control. So the translation of transformation states that um, the Laplace transform of f, f of t is just equal to f of s. Then, if we are given that the Laplace transform of e to the negative a t f of t, it will just equal to f s plus a. In other words, uh, the variable in the transform s is translated by a. We can transform f of t just as if e to the negative a t were not present. And then, replace all the s by s plus a. To prove that, we have to uh, utilize the definition of Laplace transform, which states that the definition of Laplace transform, uh, we have the Laplace transform of f of t this is equal to f of s, which is also equal to the integral of f of t times e to the negative s t from 0 to infinity. So, if we are given the Laplace transform of e to the negative a t times f of t, we utilize the um, definition of the Laplace transform of f of t, which is equal to this. So, that uh, the transformation of uh, the translation of transformation states that we can uh, transform f of t just as if e to the negative a t were not present. So the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to zero to infinity f of t e to the negative s t times e to the negative a t. So to simplify this we get integral of f of t times e to the negative s plus a times t. And this function is just equal to f s plus a. Now, we are ready to answer uh, the inverse Laplace of the function y of s. Again, y of s is just equal to e to the negative 3s over s times 7s plus 1. And again, we can um, uh, we can find the inverse Laplace of this quantity alone and not including or not, not including e to the negative 3s. So we are to find, first we have to find the negative, in, uh, the inverse Laplace of 1 over s, 7s plus 1. But before that, we have uh, to apply partial fraction, you know, for us to uh, get the inverse Laplace of this function. So uh, 1 over s, 7s, um, s plus 1 over 7 is just equal to c1 over s plus c2, s plus 1 over 7. And by multiplying this by s plus s plus 1, 1 over 7, we get 1 over 7 equal to c1 times s plus 1 over 1, 7 plus c2 times 
times s. Uh, to get the value of c1 and c2, we set the value of s. First, we set um, we set s equal to zero. So if s is equal to zero, c2 will become zero, and this one is also zero. So um, c1 would become one. And f if s is equal to negative one over seven, then this quantity will become zero and c2 will become negative one. Then the partial fraction of seven s s plus 1 over 7 is just equal to 1 over s minus 1 over s plus 1 minus 1 over 7. Taking the inverse Laplace of this, we get the Laplace inverse of 1 over s is just 1. And the Laplace transform of 1 over s plus 1 over 7 is just equal to e to the negative um, t over 7. So, going back, y of s, e to the negative 3s over um, s, 7s over s plus 1 over 7. Um, we apply the transform uh, the, the translation of transformation where here instead of replacing s uh, by s plus a we replace t to t plus a where our a is equal to 3 so the inverse Laplace of uh, e to the negative 3s, 7s, s plus 1 over 7 is just equal to this, but we replace t by t plus a. So we get 1 minus e to negative t minus 3 over 7. So this is the Laplace transfer, uh, the inverse Laplace transformation of e to the negative 3s, 7s times s plus 1 over 7. Now, we are to determine uh, y uh, y of t when t is equal to 5. Uh, y of t is just equal to 1 minus e to the negative t minus 3 over 7. So when t is equal to 5, then y of 5 is just equal to 1 minus e to the negative 5 minus 3 over 7 this is equal to 0 0.249 or approximately 0 0.25. Thank you.